you still have one of those old Polaroid cameras kicking around, well, the last batch of the old film cartridges expires today. That's being marked with a new exhibition of arty shots by top photographers using the Polaroid. But is there still a future for the instant printer in a digital age? Plans are in development. Here's Helen Kakache. This used to be the only way to take a picture and see it, well, almost instantly. In the 70s, everybody wanted the camera which contained all the chemical layers to expose, develop and fix a photo in an instant. But with the introduction of digital technology, cameras on mobile phones, the company collapsed. Today, the last ever batch of Polaroid film reaches its expiry date. And to mark this, an exhibition has opened dedicated to the famous Polaroid pictures taken over the last 60 years. Photographers like Helmut Newton used the camera in fashion shoots, whilst Andy Warhols were taken to prepare screen-printed studies or portraits. They've now become standalone works of art. Uh, I don't think it's anything to, to match the, 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 the feel and sort of quality texture and the sort of... Uh, um, the the appeal of uh, of Polaroid film. I, I think they've, they've played a role in the careers of so many of the great names in photography of the last sort of 50 years. David Bailey, whose photographs feature in the exhibition, is still a fan of the old technology. And people react differently to different cameras. That's why digital, in a way, everybody's got the same camera so it's it makes everything a bit takes away some magic somehow but the magic may not be lost an Austrian company called the impossible project have made it their mission to restart instant film photography they've taken on the old Polaroid plant in the Netherlands and hope to be selling films compatible with Polaroid cameras by the beginning of next year I asked their director on Skype whether it was a realistic project. It's not, you know, just a passion and the art project and a very nice thing to do. Uh, it's it's really um, a very interesting business, and um, that that's an important part of it. It's not something that we just want to bring back because of you know we are a crazy group of people. It's really uh, something that that is, deserves to get a second chance. It's uh, a very solid business and a lot of people still use these um, films and these cameras out there. And they may well succeed. Polaroid does have a cult following. At an exhibition of old cameras in the clothes shop Urban Outfitters, the last 700 dead stop Polaroid cameras have sold out. Not a bad picture, but if Polaroid films aren't resurrected, and pictures like this could be consigned to the past.